Hey everybody, this is your friend Siruljeet and in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a Google Lead Gen Ads campaign. Now, Google Leads objective has been around for a while now and that usually took your visitor to a landing page and they could sign up on the landing page. But Google Lead Gen Ads are something new and using the Lead Gen Ads, your visitors, your prospects can sign up to your list from right inside google.com, they don't need to go to your landing page. It increases your ROI, it increases your sign up rate because your customers don't have to necessarily go to your landing page. They can sign up even on Google. And when they do sign up on google.com, the best thing is you get their primary email address, their google.com email address, which course they carry on their hand phone and they look at every day. So let's not spend any more time Talking about it, let's just get right in and see how to create the lead gen ads. The first thing you want, you want to do is set up a new campaign and it has to be a search campaign because of course, if you have a display campaign, you can't run Google lead gen ads on other people's websites. It has to be on google.com or youtube.com. So currently, Google lead gen ads are supported by google.com, the search engine and youtube.com so you can have your lead gen ads on your favorite videos which are connected to your niche and that can get you a big number of signups. So let's get started and see how to create a Google lead gen ad in search. So we're going to go into our search campaigns and I've got a bunch of search campaigns already here. I need to start a new campaign so I'm going to go into campaigns and click on the plus icon to start a campaign. Click on new campaign and you can see there are a number of different objectives that you can target like sales, leads, website traffic and so many more. What we want to do is target the leads objective because we want leads. Click on the leads objective and you've got some search campaign types. You can do a search ad, you can do a display ad, you can do a shopping ad, you can do a video ad or you can do the smart ads. Currently, the lead gen extension is supported only with the search or video ads which are on YouTube, not any other kind of ads. So you don't have the lead gen extension on display or shopping or any other objective, any other ad type. So just click on search and let's go right inside. So how do we want to reach our goal? We want to reach our goal using the lead form submission. So what we want to do is have people click on the ad and fill in a form right on google.com where they can give us the name and the email. Okay, again, let me rephrase that. People don't need to fill in a form because the form is pre-filled. It already has the name. It already has the email ID, the correct private Gmail email ID, and all they need to do is click on the submit button. So click on continue, the next step, we gotta give it a name. Let's keep the default one. I don't really care for it right now. It's gonna be on the search network. It's gonna be on the display network. So you can just put that in, that's fine. You can choose your targeting. I'm not gonna go into targeting because this is not a tutorial about that. I'm not gonna talk about targeting at all over here. So just, let's just skip all of that. And you can even add an audience. So if you've got a ready audience, you wanna remarket or retarget to people who have visited your website, Let's say you got a website. This is something really, really amazing. Let's say you got a website. You have a bunch of people coming in. You've got a bunch of leads. You can show your ads to those guys and you can grab their email addresses. You can grab their names even when they're not on your website. So you have some very, very targeted audience for yourself. You can put in a budget. So I'm gonna put in a generic budget. And what do you want? Do you want conversions? Conversions? In this case is people signing up to your list so that's perfectly fine let the target CPA be good because you can always modify it later right now it might seem a bit high sometimes but that might not be necessarily the price for which you will get the actual lead let it be high let monitor your CPA cost and then see how you need to calibrate it let it go to and then You've got your lead form extensions. You've got, I've got a couple of lead form, lead form extensions already in there. So I'm not gonna use those because I wanna show you how to create a lead form extension. So click on lead form extension and you can then start making it. Let's do it right now. The first thing, you need to select a call to action. And if you are 
asking people to uh, sign up, then I think sign up is a good call to action. But if you want to have them take different actions, like learn more, get code, apply now, you can you can uh, select from many of these. You also got subscribe or download. So if you got a lead gen like a like a like a PDF or a product that you're giving away in in return for signing up, you can have that too. I'm gonna go with sign up for now. And this is the extension text. It goes right over here. Fill in. Let's get you the access right away. So I just put in a message. Of course, you gotta respect Google's requirement. It has to be 30 characters. So I'm gonna just read some of the stuff. Now you need the headline. Now this is the actual form. It's gonna be pre-filled. So you need to put in all this information. The first is the headline. It goes right below your business name. And it has to be something nicer, something that describes your product. What is the people getting? What is the person getting? What is it? What is in it for them? So subscribe to your free offer and get access or you can just say get access instantly to the product or yeah there's not too much space so i'm just gonna leave it at get access instantly now the business name is something that you identify your company with it can be your company's name it can be your brand you don't need to write the entire name like you might have a company name which would be like this and that company LLC or corp or whatever. You don't need to fill the entire name. You just need to fill the basic branding. For me, my identifiable branding is Technic Force. So I'm just gonna put that in. And finally, the description, you got a lot more room over here. So we can play with this. We can put in some more information over here. Ready to get started and explore the exciting, okay, I spelled that wrong, world of internet marketing sign up and we will get you there instantly yeah whatever i just wrote it off my head so not the best but you can select and this is where you select what information you need so typically you will want the name you will you can either get the name in one go the full name or you can ask for two fields the first name and the last name i would say keep things minimum yeah here is three fields so even this is good enough then you can take the phone number if you want. Typically, we will want the email. So there are three fields over here. If you want to make it look more compact, more easy to fill in, put in two fields. Again, all of this information is going to be pre-filled. The customer's not required to put in any information. Then you will need a privacy policy. You are very important because you are getting the lead. You're getting customer's name. You're getting customer's email address or phone number two. And that is all uh, customers personal details so you will need to put in a link to a privacy policy URL it should be on your website it should be something that is hosted by you you cannot point it to another generic URL because Google will ban your ass they're not gonna approve you so it will be something that is definitely on your website then you need to select the background image I'm gonna put in something nice maybe this one okay this one is not because effective let's find the one all right so i put in an image that is suitable and then i'm ready to go now this image is will be displayed on the top of my ad i have to select it first click, click on continue click on save and it's been refreshed it's been saved right so this will be a part of your ad it will be played on the top of your ad i think it's still refreshing yeah it's gonna show up so it showed up you can do a little bit of play here too. You can put in something nice about your product. You can put in a screen. If you, if you got a SaaS or if you got another product, you can put in something nice over here that will attract people's attention and get you the details. Then after submitting, you will show them a form. Uh, you will show, show them a confirmation and from the confirmation, you can actually take, take them to your website too. So you can put in something nice like subscribe. This is the acknowledgement of the action taken. And then you can thank you can thank them. Thanks for subscribing. Click on the link below to get your access. Simple, yeah. Visit your website and finally the URL, HTTP, and the website where you're delivering the product. Remember, all of this is scrutinized by Google. Google checks everything, so you should have authentic information over there. 
make sure you're actually delivering the product. Don't get people to sign up again if you if you want to avoid getting banned or getting your ads to your or you know having your ads not run at all. So make sure you just manage all of that. Then this is the magic place where you need to put in the webhook URL from ads to list. Now in a separate tutorial, I have shown you how to do this. Let me quickly see if I find another. All right, so I have this over here. Click on this button, copy code for Google ads. And this is your webhook URL that you need to paste in and the authentication code, the authentication key, paste both these things and just click on send test data very quickly. So what Google is will do is it's gonna send a test record to ads list and if everything is working as it should be, if your form is set up correctly, if the integration with ads list is working, if your account is valid on ads list, it's gonna send, it's gonna give you a green tick and tell you that this record is correct. But if something is wrong, like I put in an invalid URL and I click on send test data, it's gonna tell you that this is not correct. So the very easy test to test that everything is okay, just click on send test data, you get a green tick, you are good to go. Finally, you're done, that's all. You've done the, you've done the lead extension, you've done the lead form, and you have created the submission message, and that's all you need to do to get your leads flowing from your Google Ads to your autoresponders. So that was it. Our new lead form is created and our Google ad is good to go. Click on save and continue. And our ad campaign should be just activated instantly. Of course, you need to put in information like the keywords. So I'm gonna put in internet marketing here just for the sake of it and Let's continue, save and continue. You need to create an ad group. And finally, you can also select the, the copy of your ad. So you will need to put in a final URL, something like this, which is not part of your lead extension. It's the other stuff. Put in a headline, like want to learn internet marketing. Okay, I'm just gonna shorten it to IM or online marketing okay i'm gonna shorten it okay okay i just put in some data a description Another option. Okay, I do a lot of mistakes. Done, save and continue. Your ad is created too. And now your campaign is created. It's right over here. When you click on extensions, you should see your extensions, like click on add in extensions. And you can see in extensions, you can see the lead form extension that created. And once the lead starts flowing in, you can download the reads and you can see them in a CSV file, but that's not really something that you will need to do because your leads are gonna be in your autoresponder thanks to ads list.